All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules upstairs. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Have a great fight. Touch them up. Okay, so we're starting round one for this junior welterweight right title. Right off the touch. Contrada comes in with a low kick. Sergio Mikos is the current champion. Both guys have identical records of six and three. You know, it looks like it, Contrada is really trying to keep himself relaxed. Yep, oh, nice spin, nice. And these guys do have five rounds to go because this is a title fight. Sturgeon with a good counter, a catch and counter. Contrada is a little square. A little square. Sergio really going into, you know, the clinch position here, but trying to lean his body weight on Contrada, but Contrada, like, using a lot of his own weight as well. To keep Sergio down, yeah. Both guys throwing a lot into those knees. You can hear him yeah. kind of, like, grimacing jockeying, and, yeah. Jockeying for position, too, in that corner. Nothing really landing solid here because they're nullifying a lot of their own movements by stepping out to the side. Sergio ducks under with good head movement. Needs to get nice right hand that, that lands. Corner. You see him rolling, trying to roll under those punches and land a, he lands a hook that ends that exchange. Nice <laughs> leg kick. Contrada's got to commit more to those, those right side leg kicks. He's not turning the shin over. Yeah. Which is leaving his head straight up and in the middle. And he's got to shut his mouth. Yeah, he's leaving, leaving his head right in the middle there. And that ends the first round of this junior welterweight title fight between Sergio Mikios and Joey Contrada. Uh, big first round, you know, uh, some heavy leather and some good right hands thrown by Contrada. Sergio seeing a good head movement, um, putting his combinations together well. I don't know, it might be even that round. What do you think, Evan? Um. I'm seeing it more to Sturgis because his head movement, um, Contrada's not really landing as much as uh, that's effectual. He, uh, Sturgis was popping his head back. In the clinch, I think Contrada's got smart maneuvers as far as, like you say, keeping his hands high, hands high, keeping his weight on top of Sturgis so Sturgis can't get those knees to the body. He, he wants to keep Sturgis at that level. He yeah. wants to keep him lower. Um, Contrada's got to relax. He's got to start turning stuff over. Nice evasion. Contrada really looking to, to, to keep Sergio's back with his punches. Sergio's just runs in, lands a big knee here. Sergio's bringing his arms on the inside. Pulls his arms on the inside, going for the dominant head position. He's got to get around him and get outside. Yeah, he's being able to have a lot more leverage if you're not leaning up against the ropes. Contrada really trying to keep Sergio there, just keep him either against the ropes or in that corner. Just that's exhausting, you know. It's not like a boxing clinch where you're just kind of using it for rest. It's a very active clinch. Nice evasion, good head movement there by Sergio, keeping his hands up, keeping his guard up, and moving his head. Contrada, those big, big shots, just one twos, one twos. Big Sergio's shots. rolling with his punches, though. Big shots, but that right leg is way back behind him. It's leashing those punches. He's yeah, so losing he, power. he's throwing from his uh, shoulders as opposed from uh, you know pivoting from his foot and, and his torso. I see what you mean, Gavin. Yep. Yeah, and, and that was a big right hand, yep. though. Nice uh, right hand lands over the top by Sergios. And the thing is, when he gets that wide out, he loses his big advantage, which is his height. Yeah. And it makes it so 
Sturgis doesn't have to headhunt because he's bringing his head down to his level. As you can see, Sturgis is catching shots in the head. He shouldn't, shouldn't be that easy for him to do it. What does concern me though is Sergio could lose this fight because of the fact that the active aggression and um, Contrada moving him back. But now Sergio is moving Contrada back, throwing some nice combinations. Beautiful combinations. Uppercuts landing right down nice the middle. Knees. And again, we're seeing like Sergio is a seasoned showman. Yeah. Here we go, starting the third round of this title fight. Miko slips, he slips, he just lets them know I'm all right, I'm okay, I slipped. Lands a right hand there. He's trying to move to the outside, pivoting in and out, moving away from the range of Contrada. So he's just using his boxing now. Whenever he gets an opportunity to come in with his boxing, steps out, steps away, but steps into the ropes. A uh, nice stiff jab that lands there. Sergio again, good, good combinations. Good combination, the Great uppercut. combination, like a la Zambides. You know, just a good two, three punches coming back with a low kick. Rolling, rolling under, rolling under. Nice stiff jab that lands by Contrada. Another nice right hand uh, snaps Contrada's head back. Contrada's got to stay at his range. Contrada now trying to let his hands go. There he Sergio goes. Sergio takes another stiff jab. It, what's, what works for Sergio is when he does throw a shot and then move in and out. The second he stands there uh, and yeah. freezes, it gives Contrada an opportunity to throw a lot more. Also, what works for Sergio is when he throws his punches off of his head movement. Yep. Good, solid boxing base. Oh, another right hand that lands by Contrada. And he's finding his range here in the third round. Oh, knee lands. Knee lands by Contrada. Oh, Whoa. big right hand. Big right now Sergio's with his hands down. He's got to keep those hands up. Great head movement. Oh, beautiful head movement, and that ends ends our third round between these guys. I mean, it's it's. Th All right, five fans. We are starting the fourth round here. Sturgis, you know, trying to use that movement, not stand still, and not be a t and a, a target, an open target for Contrada. Well, was a great got, movement there by uh, Sturgos. As you can see, he threw the kick, he missed, and then he got out of the way when he was vulnerable, which is a, is a great technique just to not stand there after you miss something. Oh, nice right start, hand lands. He's got to start coming in behind that jab, though. You can't just throw the kick, especially when you're a shorter opponent. Yeah, you've got you've to set it up, you know, because it's, it's too easy to see. Contrada just trying to keep Sturgos in an area and, and keep him there and just kind of hold him and stop his movement. Tonsconzo breaking them up, bringing them back to the center of the ring, which is really where uh, Sturgos wants to be. Again, single shot in those kicks, minimally effective. That was good because it came behind the jab, so he landed that. Yep. Big right hand snaps uh, Contrada's head back. Oh, another oh, big, big right, hand. right hand. Oh, leg kick. He slipped on that. Yep. And again, like we've had several fights tonight, the mat, it's definitely a lot it's slippery. It's a little bit wet. Yeah. Beautiful right uppercut. Oh. Yeah, it's just, just really putting a lot of sting on those punches. And that ends our excellent uh, sportsmanship there as we go into the fifth and final round of this junior welterweight title bout. Sturgis being the current champion right now. Contrada trying to take that champion, that take that belt away from him. Oh, 
And Sturgis has to make this the deciding round right here. He, he really does. Has to. Because even though he, you know, he does have heavy hands, you know, we've, we see that Joey has been pushing forward pretty much this entire fight. Nice combination, yep. nice hand combination by Sturgos. Sturgis using the uppercuts and using well, but I've got to say he does head headhunt quite a bit. A lot. Uh, he hasn't really gone to the body much, which is weird because, you know, when you are the shorter fighter, that body is right there right for there, you. Right there, easy to hit. They're just, you know, sli slightly getting frustrated because Joey's just, just staying on him. Nice combinations here by Sturgis. You can see that uppercut has been landing for him all night. Oh, Big right hand. Sturgis, you know, getting frustrated by getting hit. You see, he puts his hands down, just kind of tells him, you're, you're not hurting me. But it, it, those are scoring. The judges see that. Yeah, and that's it's also scoring. leaving yourself open. Woo! Ooh. Almost, almost out of the ring card, girl. Almost landing, yeah. Sturgis Corner is just telling him to press the action and continue to move and forward. Follow, following that jab in and coming in with that right uppercut, it's a great plan. He's got to stick to it. Joey Contrada walking in with a big heavy jab, just pushing Sturgis back into that side, that corner of the ropes. The crowd just like screaming for both guys. They're just pushing to the end. And that ends the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action here at the Broad Street Ballroom, we go to the judges' scorecards, and they read as follows. Judge A scores the bout 48-47 for Mikios. Judge B scores the bout 49-46 for Contrada. And Judge C scores the bout 48 to 47 for your winner by split decision. And the new Friday Night Fight Junior Welterweight Champion, Joey Contrada. And Joey Contrada takes home the Junior Welterweight title this evening. I would say, like I said, I, I had two uh, for Sturgos. I had two for Joey Contrada. There was one round, probably the third round, which was the deciding factor here. It was definitely Joey's pressure and forward movement that had him winning this fight, I believe. I think that was the deciding factor.